Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the new captions workflow, including the new auto transcribe speech to text feature. So one new feature we have is the automatic SRT kind of drag and drop. If you don't know what an SRT file is, it just stands for a subtitle or subrip file. This is what it looks like if I open it up in a text editor. Uh, this is when I got through uh, so a service that just transcribed my videos for me with the timestamp and the text. But essentially, if you do have an SRT file with all of the captions written out and you have it in your project media bin, you can now just drag it into your project and it'll automatically create a new captions track. You can choose the format and you can choose the starting point and press OK. And you'll see it'll automatically have each piece of those captions split into its own little clip all in this new subtitles track here, just like the V1 tracks. Now we have the C1 tracks. You can hide them. You can do all different types of things about them. And if you go into the essential graphics panel on the right hand side, you can also adjust the color and style of them as well. So the font, the fill color, you can change all of those things to be whatever you want. You just got to make sure you're highlighting the ones that you want to change the color about. Now, if you want even more flexibility, you can go to the new window text feature if you don't have those files. And here's where you can actually see all of your subtitles. So a cool thing you can do is even search. So if I search, I can find the caption where I say a certain thing. If I'm looking for that, I can also combine certain lines together. If I feel like this and this need to be in one point, I can highlight them both and merge them together. Or I can even split them apart as well and adjust the timing on the clip. But now, what if I wasn't already working with a pre-written out subtitle file and I wanted to make them from scratch? One thing I could do in this same text window is if I open it up and there isn't anything so far, I can either transcribe or create a new captions track. So if we were doing it by hand, I can click create new caption track. It'll create that track on the timeline and I can hit the plus button to add a new caption. So in the first segment, I can write the first line. And you see here it says it's going from zero seconds to 223. And if I just stretch or pull that, it'll change it. And once I have that one line, I can right click, add a new caption after. It'll add a new one and I can change that to be something else. Now you have all the same tools and everything here, but what if I had a longer interview and I didn't want to do it by hand? One new feature that's getting ready to roll out is the auto transcribe speech to text. So if we go to this transcript section, I can choose to create a transcription and it will automatically scan the audio clip of what's on this timeline. And I can also choose between a few different languages or transcribing just an in and out point. But if I press transcribe, it'll automatically transcribe. Now this may take different amounts of time depending on how long your clip is. But once it's done, it'll show you the, the finished product. And one thing about auto speech to text is depending on your original clip, it might mishear some things. It might mess up some names or spellings, but in general, it's pretty effective and fast if you do a large clip. And if I click create captions out of this, you can see it'll drop it onto our timeline and it works just like that. I can adjust the style of everything after. And another cool part is if I did happen to do that for like an entire interview, for example, you see all of these different things. It even has a speaker one and speaker two. It recognizes the different voices and I can go in there. I can fix typos if I want, or I can click this button and export this out to a text or an SRT file myself. And if I create captions out of this, I can drop down this menu and export it to text or SRT files which can be useful for working in other projects or uploading to YouTube and putting those captions in the YouTube player. And again, when you're working with these, you can, if you feel like the timing was off for the auto transcription, you can combine segments for more natural pacing or split them or adjust the timing of them yourself. If you enjoyed this video, you can check out more in the playlist on my channel and subscribe to stay tuned for new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.